crying. The demons say this as our property. Yes. Those Rastafarians, they were saying this is our property. Yes. As they pull those dreadlocks, they say this is our property. Mm. So this woman was crying and she looked at me and she told me one thing. When you go back, go and tell my children not to put this hairstyle on their head. Mm. And I remembered while we were in the hospital, we exchanged the phone numbers with her mother. We, get, we got very close with her mother. She was helping me while I was in the hospital. So we exchanged the, the numbers. Funny, something, something, I didn't know something was going to happen. I did not exchange my phone number with this woman who was sick, but I exchanged with the mother. So yes. when she told me, I remembered, I will call her mother. Yes. She told me, go and tell my children. She had three yes. children, mm -hmm. a son mm -hmm. and two daughters. So after she spoke to me, I looked on the other side, and I also saw another woman. So, uh, who was a friend about, of mine about the about the dead mm -hmm. so the demons they, they were saying that those belong to them yeah their properties yeah they were and saying those are, dreadlocks are their properties also the demons they do have them all yeah the demons. not the demons yeah. this one these demons were in form of human beings mm -hmm. yes yeah mm -hmm. so they were just like human beings yes. who are living on earth mm -hmm. but they had, they had dreadlocks yes so they were pulling, saying, this is our property. Mm -hmm. But I realized these are not human beings. Mm -hmm. These yeah. are demons. demons. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I looked another side and I saw also another woman. This woman was a very close friend of mine. She was my client. I used to plait her hair. She was a very rich woman. Oh my God. She was in fire. Mm. And this woman died the year 2012. 2012. Yeah. Mm. Me, I was in hell 2017. Mm. I saw her, she was black. Mm. Very black. Yes. But I was able to recognize her. Mm. She looked at me because the time I used to plait her hair, I was telling her to, to accept Christ because she was not born again. Yes. Any time I could share with her the word of God, she was laughing and telling me, Lillian, you want me to, 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 to be born again, to live a life like yours. Yes. This is not a life. Not yeah, good. I cannot follow you to your church to be born again. She was laughing. So when she saw me, she told me, Lillian, little did I listen to your words. The time you were telling me to accept Christ, if I could have received Christ right now, I could have not been here in this torment and in this fire. And she asked me one question. You, you were born again. Why are you here now? I had nothing. I had no answer to tell her. I felt guilty. To hear that, she is asking me, she's in hell because she was not born again. Yes. But me, what am, why am I there? Mm. And I was born again. Yes. I had no answer. I had nothing totally to speak. She looked at me with grief. And now something that grieved me very much. All the hairstyles that I used to plait her, mm -hmm. I saw them. I saw the way she was being tortured with those hairstyles. Mm. The demons were breaking bottles. After breaking the bottle, they take pieces, mm. they cut the hair.
They cut the weaves. They uh -huh. cut those human hair because I was ma she was very rich, so I was making her very expensive hairstyles, very expensive additions on her head. And when they are cutting, they are cutting even the the, 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 skin. the flesh. Yes, the flesh. they cut the flesh. Mm. She's bleeding. The head is big. It mm. is black. She's mm. black. She's crying. Which side? Which side? Why you? Why you? Why you making? You can. Make Sometimes it. the hair braids. I was braiding her hair. Rasta us. Mm. Sometimes I was weaving her hair. Mm. Sometimes I was attaching her with the human hairs. This mm. called human hairs. Human hair. Yes. Extension. Extensions. Hair. Yes. Mm. Those are all sorts of artificial mm. hairs. Mm. So when I saw her, I started, I cried for her. Mm. Now what I was feeling, when I saw her being tortured concerning the hairstyles, mm. I was feeling I'm the one. Yeah, yeah, you I can see, it. yes, I am the reason why she's being tortured like that. She looked at me. The demons, some demons, they were picking her from down. They lift her up, mm -hmm. up. When she reach up, they lift, they lift her up. She fall down. Mm -hmm. When she fall down, the demons that are down, they pick her. Now they start cutting the head with the bottle. They cut the flesh, they cut those hairs. Wow. Like they are slaughtering. Yeah. Mm. She cries. She was crying. She was in pain. But she looked at me again and she told me, go and tell my husband to accept Jesus Christ. I don't need my husband to come here in this torment mm -hmm. and she told me my husband sacrificed me my husband offered me as a sacrifice go and tell him to accept jesus christ if she doesn't accept jesus christ she will die and he will die and he will come here in this torment Another thing she added, she told me, go and tell my husband to withdraw the case with the doctor. Because this woman died under operation. She was being operated. So the doctor, I think she operated wrongly. Um, she went in the hospital to give birth. So in that procedure of taking the child out, the doctor... I don't know what happened, but the doctor cut the, the eye of this, the, the, young, the young baby, the baby. So I think the husband, what the husband did after the death of the wife, the husband filed a case against the doctor. So she told me, go and tell him to withdraw the case. It was not the mistake of the doctor. This child was also supposed to be sacrificed. Yes. He told me, she told me, go and tell my husband to withdraw the case. And tell my husband to receive Jesus mm. Christ. Now I came back to my senses. This woman, the husband sacrificed her. But the torture she was going through she doesn't feel that the husband has to go there even if it is you i am the one who has made you to go to hell will you need me to go to heaven while you are suffering in hell with our common thinking but the people who are in hell they feel for those who made them to go there that is what i learned because of what they are passing they through. They don't wish them to come there. Yes. Mm. They feel for their loved ones mm. not to go there. And that is the truth because in the, in the Razaros, the one who say about the rich man Razaro, mm -hmm. when he was there, yeah. he said to Abraham that who will go and warn my brothers, they are, they, they are here, that the hell exists, they are, they are, there is fire here. They said, but that is for them. So when you connect with the woman who had dreadlocks. Mm -hmm. She told me the same thing, to same go thing. and warn her children. Mm -hmm. This woman is also telling me to go and warn the husband yes. to accept Jesus Christ. Yes. So after I have talked with that woman, 
as I kept on crying and calling upon Jesus Christ, I looked at my right hand side, outside hell now, and I saw a certain servant of God whom I knew. A servant of God who was radically preaching about holiness and repentance. And when I saw him, I saw him dressed in a red t-shirt. And the t-shirt was written on repentance is a must in white color. So when I saw him, repentance is a must. I realized it's a must. I now have to repent. Now I started repenting there, but I knew I was repenting against wildness, yes. robbing God, mm. slandering the man of God. Yes. Those three things. The t-shirt of this man of God was written, repentance is a must three times. Three times. Yeah. In front three times and backwards also three times. So I started repenting from tithe, wildness, slandering, those three th mm. things. So I repented, I repented, and while I continued to repent, I saw that gate being closed. Mm. The gate of hell was closed. Was closed. Yeah. Now after the gate of hell was closed, I continued. No, before it was closed, these animals, white animals, they went back. They all left. They went back to fire. And then the gate was now closed. Mm -hmm. So I continued repenting, 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 telling God to forgive me for all those things, for all those wilderness things, anything that I could remember. So in that uh, situation, while I was, I was repenting, I just saw my spirit coming back. I saw my spirit coming back and I just again entered my body that was lying on the bed. When I saw my spirit entering my body, there was something like a shake-up. I felt that the house was like it was shaking. I felt another glory, Another glory. Yeah, mm -hmm. and strength. Mm -hmm. The house was shaking. I felt very strong. Mm -hmm. And I was sweating. And then I woke up. I opened, I, let me say I opened my eyes. Mm -hmm. When I opened my eyes, I could not understand where I was. Back to life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't know where I was. But I realized yes. when my, body, my spirit was leaving the body, when I saw my body lying on the bed, yes. I was not covered. But when I opened my eyes, yes. I find somebody came and covered me mm. you you with the bed sheets. Mm. So I was there, mm. helpless, mm. tired, mm. No talking, can, could not open my mouth. So I gained a little strength and I checked my phone. When I checked my phone, it was three o'clock in the morning. So I just, I heard that uh, my spirit kept on uh, repenting, praying, but it was only repentance. I was telling Jesus to, to forgive me, to forgive my sins. So, uh, in the morning at around uh, 6 o'clock, the nurses that were on duty overnight, they came together with the nurses that were, were reporting during the, the day. So, when they reached where I was, I saw this nurse came and opened this uh, bed sheet. And she, I saw her shaking, like she was afraid. What has happened? She called me. I looked at her, but I could not do what? I could not speak. So she, they, all, both of them, they went out running. They get out running. I because saw them you, running. You, you, are, uh, you, you are dead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when they came back, they came back with the doctor. The same doctor that I went to the office, 
and he told me to get out. Mm. So when they came, mm. this nurse was telling the other nurse, me now what do I do? The nurse that was uh, on duty overnight. Mm. So I heard the doctor saying, I am the one who made this me mistake. He started regretting. Mm. He said, I heard him saying, I was to come and check on her. Mm. I didn't know this will happen. Mm. So he tried to examine me again, but he was shaking, he was afraid, he was sweating. When he touched the files, the files were falling down. He put off his uh, clothes, everything, the pen, and he went back to the office like around 20 minutes, yes. and then he came back. So when he came back, I think his mind was now okay. He started examining me again, but you know I could not talk. This mouth I could not open, but my eyes were seeing. Mm. My ears were hearing mm. whatever they were Same. saying. Mm. So the doctor examined me, and uh, he instructed the nurses to come and give me a certain injection. So they came, they gave me an injection mm. in a, like one hour, less than one hour. Mm. I was now responding mm. to the medicine, mm. although I was tired. And uh, I was not even remembering what happened. I was just there. Mm. So they kept on checking me now and then, now and then, now and then. They kept checking on me. Mm -hmm. At around uh, 3 in the evening, I was some, somehow now I could open my mouth and maybe speak a word. I could not speak a sentence. Yes. Just a word. I pause. Another word. I pause. So, this at three, I started feeling well, and then I started remembering what happened mm. to me. I started recognizing every situation, everything that I went through. Yes. And I started asking myself, first thing, tithe. Mm. Tithe. Why? I started realizing all the faults that I was doing, mm. everything. I started know, recognizing how I was in hell, how I went to, to the judgment seat, everything that happened now came back mm. to mind. So, you know, somehow these phones are helping us when you don't have the Bible. So I started remembering every scripture, every scripture that I was shown in heaven and in hell. Mm. So I googled the scripture and read and read and read and I understood. I understood. So that night, I slept very well mm. until tomorrow morning, I was getting better and better. Yes. Now the following day, when it reached exactly at 3 yes. p.m., I started feeling the pain. I started feeling severe pain. Now I said, oh my God, what have I done? I have repented for eating tithe, for wildness, for slandering the man of God. Yes. Now what it is. Mm. So God have mercy, have mercy upon me. And you know, in all this thing, there is nowhere I remembered I called on judgment. I never remembered that. And judgment is judgment. Russia's judgment. Mm -hmm. Nothing that God can left behind. So I started crying. When I was crying, lying on this bed, I saw the pastor that I slandered again. So I was like, okay. When I saw him, I kept on repenting. And uh, somebody came, this man who came, he came and he held my neck. He twisted my neck round. And my neck 
turned and looked the other side. Painful. Very painful. And now I knew I am dying. I am going. But one thing, I was being encouraged that because I have repented, now even if I die, I'm going to heaven. What? No way. I wasn't going to heaven. So I said, why am I dying this, like this? Why am I feeling pain again? And uh, my, I have told you my neck was turned, twisted and turned to the other side. I looked on the wall and I saw unforgiveness, unforgiveness. written in red in capital letters on the wall. Unforgiveness. I started remembering. Is there anybody in my life that I have never forgiven? Who is this person? Yes. Who is it? This man of God. Mm. This pastor. Yes. That I slandered and I refused to forgive him. Yes. And when I saw him, there was an angel standing beside him. So the angel spoke to this pastor. Yes. I tell you, a man of God is a man of God whatsoever it is. The angel didn't spoke to me. The angel spoke to the pastor and asked him, what did you did to Lillian? So the man of God explained everything. What happened? How it started until the time we, we, we came to misunderstanding each other. He explained everything. Now the angel turned to me and told me, have you heard what he have said? I said, yes, I have heard. And he told me, but you must forgive him. So after he spoke to me and said, but you must forgive him. Again, I saw this man that I saw outside hell. Yes. This evangelist was preaching holiness. With the same red t-shirt written on, repentance is a must. So I started repenting on unforgiveness. Forgiveness, unforgiveness. I repented for not forgiving this pastor. I repented and uh, as I kept on repenting, I saw another angel came and when he came, he just uh, brought to me his hand to shake in my hand. And when I turned it to shake his hand, my neck turned back to normal. And I felt I am now okay. 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 I opened my eyes. I realized there is something. But this was now around 9 o'clock in the evening. So I kept on repenting about this man of God, about unforgiveness, everything that I could remember. I repented and I came to realize the lesson that I learned there. Yes, I went to judgment. I repented on slandering. I repented on eating tithe. I repented on wilderness. But God could not forgive me before I forgive. That is why this issue of forgiveness was not solved fast. I was to learn. If I don't forgive, as much as I repent, mm. God also will not mm. forgive me. Mm. And it is biblical. In the book, it is in the book of Matthew 3, 6, 14. Yes. Is that? Uh -huh. For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Amen. But if you don't forgive them, you will not be forgiven. You will not be forgiven. Mm. So, so that is why you are asking for forgiveness yeah. where you have not forgiven your pastor. Yes. So you cannot be forgiven. I cannot be if forgiven if I don't forgive mm. others. Mm. That is the lesson I learned. Mm. Now that night.